guys, this is Yona. I'm back again with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a quarantine day night. So with this whole COVID business, my husband and I are very scared to eat at restaurants right now. So I'm going to be walking you guys through how I set up a dinner for us, a romantic candlelight dinner with lobster, steak, mussels, with the bread and salad and some red wine. And I'm also going to be showing you guys this soft glam look that I did right now. Um, so if you guys like that idea, please like and subscribe and let's get started. Um, so the first step to this look is going to be a primer. I'm going to be using this um, and this is by Smashbox. just helps the makeup to stick on. I really start with my eyes so it just in case there's going to be any fallouts or anything like that. And for me, I know a lot of people use eye primer. I use concealer. I use this um, Bright Future. It's a Sephora brand liquid um, concealer. And I place that on my eye and I just basically um, seal it with my Tarte setting powder. <laughs> So I just basically place like a couple swipes on my eye and this just helps to keep the, of course, the eye look and then to prevent creasing and stuff. And I just take a sponge, a moist sponge, and I just even it out on my eyelid. I have a lot of fears of going out to eat. One of the things that we usually do is either go to Eddie V's or Perry's Steakhouse and we usually get some steaks and stuff like that. And then now it's just with this whole COVID thing, you know, I'm just scared. I don't know. Some people are not that scared, but I'm personally scared, you know. So even with the social distancing, I feel like it's just people, they're chewing, they're speaking, and of course when you're eating, you're not going to have the mask on, so you're just kind of having a lot of this, you know, secretions going all over the place. So that's kind of my fear. So for me, this is kind of a nice way to have a romantic date at home where I feel safe. And then we're just going to take some of that powder to set it. So I'm gonna start with this palette. I'm gonna be using the Madagascar. Okay, so I'm just gonna start here in the corner and work my way. So just the same thing on both sides, kinda working my way in. And for me, I used to put my foundation on first, but the issue is that is if you mess up with your eye, like it's very difficult to wipe because you already have your foundation, you know, your con your concealer and the powders, you've already set it in. So for me, starting with my eyes, it's just kind of like, it helps just in case I make mistakes. So I'm just going to be using the Fin Fantastic. And I'm just using a more kind of flat but still fluffy brush to apply um, this product. So same thing, I'm just going to be on the edges. Just kind of keeping that V. Just slowly building up the color onto my lid. And then, so from the same palette, I'm going to be using Sandbar. And I'm going to be applying that to my lid.
for the um, for me to do that V on the side I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay and I'm going to be using Dark Horse for that side so I'm gonna be kind of going into a V and just slowly tapping it in and blending it into my eye Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry y'all. My cats are just fighting slash playing on the side. Okay, so just slowly kind of blend it in. I'm gonna be using my Physiques formula. It is a, it's called Shimmer Strip. So I just, I feel like it enhances the highlight, um, the color that I'm going to be placing on top of it. So I'm just going to be placing it on the outer corner of my eye. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my Tarte palette. And I'm going to be using the Froze. Using this really thin point brush. So I just wanna and then I'm just gonna use like the excess and place it under here. So I basically did my um, my lashes and my eyeliner just off camera. So for me, I just did a slight wing that focused more on the corner, and then I just applied just a simple um, over the, the sorry not over the car a drugstore brand eyelashes. I just clipped them a little bit so that it could focus more on. This, the sides of my eyes and then I tight lined and then I place on some mascara. So the next step is going to be your foundation, your powder, your highlighting and contouring and all that. So for me, I usually use two types of, um, I wouldn't really say it's foundation, um, but this is very light coverage. So the purpose why I chose these two is because they provide you with a very dewy look so I combine the two because my um, skin tone tends to fluctuate throughout the year um, so I'm just going to be using these two and I'm going to be using my IT foundation brush to apply my foundation this squirt. try to even them out I've used different makeup brushes over the years and I always end up having to use my sponge to basically give it an even coverage throughout my face but I've noticed with this brush I do not have to use my sponge at all and it gives such a nice even coverage throughout my face so I'm just going to push back my hair make sure that I get every area So after you've blend out your foundation and all of that, it's time for concealer. So I'm going to be concealing under my eyes or on my nose and the side of my um, mouth because I do have some darkness in, around that area. I'm going to be using two and they're both from IT Cosmetics. It's going to be 20 and 24.5. These are full coverage because I do have some dark circles and you know those imperfections. So I'm just going to be blending. So for my eyes, I usually just use the 20 by itself. And then for my nose area and my lip area, I'm going to be combining those two. And the thing with with this concealer, you use like, like a super little amount of product. And it goes a long way. 
So I'm gonna use this um, brush, my concealer brush, and then I'm gonna go over it with my sponge. Brush, and then you're just gonna blend. Basically, seal um, down the foundation and then the concealer. I I'm gonna be using my Bye Bye Pour. Uh, Bye Bye Pour. Bye Bye Pores. Um, this is also by It Cosmetics. Um, so I I I usually start with a small brush. Really cover those areas because especially under my eyes that's usually where my makeup tends to kind of crease and stuff so I make sure that I really cover it with the powder I never place powder all over my face because it gives um, a better dewy effect because if you cover it with the entire face like you're gonna make it look a lot more matte rather than dewy so the next part is going to be contouring your face. So I'm going to be using this Cheerleader Pink Squad um, by Benefits. I'm going to be using for my skin tone, I'm going to be using Hoola. And that's going to be the same color that I'm going to be using all over my face. So I'm going to start with my cheeks and I'll do my nose last. It comes with this cute little brush. I like to just use it to um, apply the product. And then I have my own brushes that I basically use. we are. So I start with my cheekbone, so I just turn to the side and I really try to get at that angle so that you can have very defined cheekbones. And then up here, and then I just take the same and then down my jawline. Taking this um, highlighter brush, and this is just a Sephora um, brand. So we're going to be doing the same thing on the other side of our face. So I'm going to be using this kind of angled brush to apply the product. So I'm going to take the same Hoola color and I'm going to be applying that to my nose. And just blend it in. And I usually take a little bit of that um, Tarte translucent powder and I place it in the middle of my nose. And I just take a little bit of highlighter and I put it right there. So the next step is going to be the highlighter. I do a two-step process. So first I start with my Sephora Golden Hour and this is going to be um, liquid form and then I seal it with my Benefits palette. They have a beautiful highlighter on there. And I do this two-step process because I feel like it gives you more of a dewy effect. So I just place it on my cheeks here, right there. I just take a sponge and I blend it out. That highlighter from this palette right here, and I'm gonna be taking that highlighter brush, just tap out the product. I use this a lot. <laughs> so tap, and then you're gonna. 
Next, we're going to be applying a little bit of blush. I'm going to be using my Patrick Star. And I usually take the bronzer and the blush together. And then you just apply it to the apples of your cheeks. So the last part of this is going to be the lipstick. I'm going to be using this Sephora um, liquid. It's like a shimmer. It's called Rose, Rose Petal. A MAC lipstick. This one is called Sweet Mama Star. And then a Kylie lip liner. So I'm going to first start by placing the lip liner. Next is going to be the lipstick. And then this. <laughs> 